Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jen and today we're gonna do Ride by Lana Del Rey And you know, I'm so excited about this song. You know how I feel about Lana Del Rey And if you don't, I'm gonna tell you I love her. I love her very much and this is my favorite song off the album So I was happy to do it. So let's get started So I can have a wonderful day talking about some Lana We're gonna start with the intro which is our F now, if you're not ready for the F bar chord, that is totally okay. Remember, there's lots of different variations that we can play off of the F. So the most common is this little guy, or we bar that first fret. I'm going to play the bar chord because I like how big it is with this bass note, but you don't have to. Remember that. So we've got one, two, A minor. 3 and 4, G, D minor, do D minor again, E minor, F. So this goes kind of fast. Then you repeat that. Now we're into the verse. We've got C, two, three, four. Now we're only gonna play F two times. It's a bar of two, four, and then back to C. So it sounds like this. of two, back to C. Let's repeat that. Two, three, four. Singing blues has been getting old. Two, three, four, one, two. Walk it down. into the pre-chorus, we're gonna go back to this F. Don't break me down. You could go, you could do F with one pretty and then slide up this shape. Song. That is also a G, that's your G bar chord, or if you feel more comfortable, just do your G like so. Uh, and then the chorus is the same as the intro. Let's try a little variation on the rhythm because there's no actual guitar part. You know, like like a, I did the tutorial for blue jeans and right off the top, there's the guitar part. That's not the case for this one. So we've got to build it the way that the song builds. And this song happens to build in a great way, in my opinion. So instead of doing these whole notes or quarter notes, let's start with the eighth notes. Now that's going to give you less time to change in between the chords, but it's going to start to like drive it a little bit more, and it's a good challenge. So back to the F. See how immediately that changes from this? The feel. I want you to always pay attention to what your right hand is doing. So this is the same tempo. But it feels faster only because your strumming hand or your, your right hand, if you're right handed, 
is playing some more notes in there, but it drives it a lot more. Now let's open it. Rush this. If these chords are new to you, or uh, playing this fast is a little bit new to you, then just start with the half notes or a very easy strum, like the beginning. Two. Because this is a lot of changing, okay? The chords are open position, so it's not like you're going all up and down the neck, but it's still, it's moving fast and it's got to be clean. So take the time to get it nice and clean. And then add the strumming. Don't feel like you have to get all this cool strumming right from the beginning because it's going to sound sloppy, right? And I, m me personally, uh, the way that I teach is I'd much rather it be slower, even if it's 50%, 60% of the speed, but in control instead of that, like, uh, 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 hold on, I have to channel, I have to channel being a beginner again when I was a beginner and what I sounded like. I just sounded like trash. So it was like, uh... You go, yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing the song. And you go, no, not quite. I think it sounds better if you go like, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rather than trying to play it up to speed and doing the start stop thing, which uh, beginners really like to do, including myself as a beginner. So don't, uh, I'm not judging beginners at all. I remember doing that myself. So that's the whole thing right there. Then it just goes verse, chorus, then what happens? And then the bridge and the bridge is this, oh, pr sorry, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then the bridge and the bridge is the same as the chorus and then you're out. So that is it. It is actually in the key of C, even though we don't go to C very often. So you could play this C pentatonic right here on the, uh, starting on the eighth fret, but we're kind of in fifth position here. Or you can think A minor pentatonic if that's easier for you. So we've got eight, five, Seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Now make sure that you're resolving to that C because we are in the key of C, not A minor. All right, I hope that helps and a huge thank you, huge thank you to my patrons who support this video. You can get more information about how to support me and these videos and doing these tutorials by going to patreon.com and then looking up me, Jen Tranny. That is my name. That's my real name. That's my God-given name. <laughs> and see if supporting these videos is something that feels like you want to do. And if not, no worries. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the subscriptions, everything that you guys do for me all the time. Let me know if you have any questions about this one. If not, then just ride. Just ride. <laughs>